What's up YouTube? TechShot87. Uh, today I wanted to take a second and talk about a holster that me and Jenny have been using for a while. Um, this is the Nate Square Tactical Holster. Um, this one specifically is holding the shield in place. Um, we've been using this holster since March or so and I uh, wanted to go over some of the features and things about it I thought you guys might be interested to see if you're if you're looking for a new holster want to try something out so uh, like I said we've been carrying this since since uh, March um, and I have to say it is a very nice holster um, probably the biggest thing with it is it is comfortable um, we'll go over some of the features here real quick this is <clears throat> this is where the comfort comes from right here this is uh, suede um, so as opposed to leather or some of the other offerings, uh, this really feels nice against your skin. Uh, especially for somebody like me, you get real hot quick. This, this doesn't seem to, uh, you know, even when you start sweating, it just, it really seems to displace the moisture. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, whatever it's doing, it, it makes it really, really comfortable against your skin. So I like that. Uh, apparently what they did is this is a a oil tan leather then you have your suede but then you have neoprene stuffed in between the two um, so that's actually supposed to keep any sweat or moisture from touching your gun and also when you sit down it's supposed to create an extra barrier I guess for um, for your gun so uh, no part of the gun will actually physically touch you so that's that's pretty neat uh, this is the professional model. They offer three. One, I think they have an original. Um, they have a tuckable, and then they have the professional. The professional model has this polycarbonate shell, and um, it is pretty neat. They use what's called a. Uh, everything's clear. Uh, they use a twist release system. All right, so when this is pressed up against your body, it's going to hold it nice in place for you. But also the gun won't come out by itself anyways. Um, it's actually being held in here by the trigger guard. So what happens is when you go to put your hand or your thumb in between the holster and you go to draw the gun, basically all you do is just give it a little twist and it comes right out. Give it a little twist, comes right out. So when this is actually pressed up against you, um, you should have seen us trying to figure, figure this out for the first time. It was pretty funny, but... Um, when this is pressed up against you, I don't know how much of this you guys can see, and you try to pull straight out, all right, it's not going to happen. With just a little bit of a twist, get my finger in there, as much as I can show you guys. Um, with just a little twist, it comes right out. So that's a very nice feature of it. I like it. Um, made in the USA. Now, one thing I can say about Nate Square Tactical Company in a general. I'll tell you a little story real quick. Um, when me and Jetty first started carrying, we had a MP 9C and an SR 9C. Um, we started carrying them a little bit, wanted to go to something smaller. So, one of the holsters we bought here locally, another one of the holsters we bought off of Nate Square's website because they didn't have it here locally. So, we bought it, we wanted to downgrade. The holster was maybe was or the gun was in the holster maybe a couple times max so we called him up we actually sold that gun we sold both of them as a matter of fact we called him up told him you know what was going on and uh they said okay and they sent us a shipping label out they paid to have it shipped back and they sent us a new holster actually for the shield all all, everything was paid. They, they paid to ship it back. They paid to send us another one. Um, which was really awesome. Um, this right here, when we first got it, this uh, there's like a little, uh, little bushing here where the screw goes. So this, uh, the bell loop, was actually just spinning freely. No matter how tight you got this, it would just spin and spin and spin. Called him up, same lady answered the phone, which I thought was pretty cool. It is a small family-owned family, family owned company. Um, 
paid for the shipping, sent me out a new screw, new bushing or whatever, and um, it's worked fine ever since. So that's the kind of company we're talking about, which I can really, really respect. Very, very awesome people. So um, speaking of the bell loop, you can adjust the cant whichever way you want to run it. Um, now the single belt loop, I was, uh, was doing a little bit of research on, on this. Now, what they claim is, and I'm not an expert, uh, but what they claim is that the suede, like naturally, the, the, the natural coefficient of the suede displaces um, a, a portion of the weight of the gun. That's what's on the website. Um, if what that means, I you know I, I don't know for a small gun like this, um, this is not a uncomfortable gun to carry anyways. Um, I will say one thing I would like to see <clears throat> is them come out with a double belt loop system, um, which they might never do. They might you never I, I, they might they might not I don't know, but I would like to see that and just see how that compares with the with actually displacing weight because you know on a double belt loop system you're using you know size and and spreading it out to uh, spread the weight out of the gun so um, I would like to see that um, in this offering especially with the suede backing because the guns already comfortable as it is um, really not a big deal on this gun or even like a Glock 42 or you know whatever any of the small guns but if you start getting up to a bigger gun Let's say the compact models or even a full size, whatever you carry. I don't know if this would be the best option for you. Um, I do know with like even the uh, the SR9C and the MMP9C, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I know that the gun it, it felt like it just really just sat there and it it wasn't as comfortable. Definitely. Now that has a lot to do with the gun, of course. But I, it would be interesting to see what a uh, what another belt loop and stretching this out a little bit would do for it. So I don't know. That's just my opinion. Um, there's a there's a couple holsters in general I want to try anyways. Um, the Hidden Hybrid is the one I really really want to try. But you know when we get there, I don't know. Maybe we can, you know, just kind of see how they how they stack up against each other. But as far as the holster in general. I mean, especially for a small gun, um, I'd say it's a great buy. They're not cheap, you know, 70 bucks, but um, they are definitely, definitely a quality holster and very comfortable. Um, other than that, there's, that's it. There's, there's not a lot of, not a lot of bells and whistles or anything, and it's very, very easy to get on and off. That's one thing I like about it too. You take this, slide it over your pants, over your belt, and, uh, you're good to go um, on the little brochures and things they send you you know you can carry this anywhere from like a you know appendix around to you know like five o'clock position or where you know wherever you'd want to I guess um, so yeah that is the Nate Square tactical holster I wanted to show you guys been carrying it for a while now great people um, great holster I don't think it's the best option for a bigger gun to be honest but uh that's just my opinion and uh please make sure you stay tuned for some of the gun reviews we have coming up some pretty cool stuff is is on the way and we will see you guys next time hold them down